In July of 1996, a family of four German tourists, Egbert Rimkus, his girlfriend, Connie Meyer, his son, George Weber, and Connie's son, Max Meyer, decided to take a family vacation to the west coast of the United States. They flew into Seattle and then flew down to Southern California, where they rented a 1996 Green Plymouth Voyager. From there, they drove all through Southern California, checking out all the different tourist locations that they could, and then they decided they wanted to go into Death Valley National Park. They made it to the Death Valley National Park on July 22nd, where they bought two copies of the Death Valley National Monument Museum text in German. The family stayed at a campsite near Telescope Peak for the night and carried on the next morning. They signed a logbook at an abandoned mining camp. And their plan was to go to Yosemite National Park after Death Valley National Park. And then they were supposed to leave on July 27th. But then July 27th came around and the family never boarded their flight. So Egbert's ex-wife got concerned when they never returned home. She called for help and that's when the search for the family ensued. Search carried on for a few months, and then on October 21st, 1996, the green minivan was found. It was found with punctured tires in an extremely remote area of the park. And five days later, the search for the family was called off. Thirteen years later, in 2009, two search and rescuers named Les Walker and Tom Hood were hiking in the area when they came across human remains. The human remains were of two adults, a male and a female, and they had identification of Egbert Rimkus and Connie Weber. Remains of the children, however, were never found. So what happened to this family? Some believe the family got lost on their way to Yosemite. The tires got punctured, and when they went out to look for help, they ended up dying of heat stroke. But some believe they came across something in the remote area of the park that they weren't supposed to see, and because of this, they were killed. What do you think happened to this family? Let me know in the comments. Thank you to my follower, Edward Ismu, for the story recommendation.